everyone. Welcome to our weekly Toddler Tuesdays at Home series. My name's Natalie, and you can join us every Tuesday at 10 a.m. to see our newest video and join in your favorite activities from the comfort of your own home. Today, we have a special guest joining us, Dora the Explorer. Can you help me to welcome Dora by saying, Hola, Dora? Let's say it together. Hola, Dora! Oh, wow, it's so good to see you. <laughs> Dora, would you like to help us out by stretching with us this morning to get our bodies woken up too? All right. Let's stretch our arms way up to the ceiling. Stretch, stretch, stretch up to the sky. And now, Let's roll down towards the ground. So let's let our heads fall and pull our whole bodies over. And then we can just dangle there a little bit, shake it out. And now let's roll our bodies back up again. All right, let's stretch over towards me, Dora, to my side. We'll put one arm up and stretch to the side. And then we'll go up towards the ceiling and over to the other side. And let's shake out our arms. And can we shake out our legs too, one at a time? All right, great job. Thanks for stretching with me, Dora. <laughs> Dora the Explorer is bilingual. That means she speaks two languages. In her case, the languages she speaks are Spanish and English. Today, I have Casey with me. She also speaks Spanish and English and is going to teach us a few words Dora uses in today's book. Hola amigos, me llamo Casey. Hi friends, my name is Casey. So like Natalie said, we'll be going over a few words that Dora says in this book. So hopefully you guys can listen and follow along. First, I'll say the Spanish word and explain its meaning, then we'll all repeat together. Sound good? Let's go. <laughs> The first word you probably know, hola. Hola means hello. So let's say it together. Hola. Hola. Second, we have a word that means look. So Dora says, mira. It means look, look at that. So let's say it together. Mira. mira. Next, we have a word that you've probably heard Dora say before too. This word is vamanos. This means let's go. So let's say it together. Vamanos! Then we have a word that used by Mommy Pig in this book. It's ayúdenme, which means help me. So let's say it together. Ayúdenme! Then we'll teach you the color yellow. So this is the word for yellow in Spanish. Amarillo. So can we say it together? Amarillo. So let's go over the words we learned once again. Starting from the top. Hola. Hola. Hola! Mira! Mira! Mira. Vámonos! Vámonos! Ayúdenme! Ayúdenme! And yellow, amarillo. 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 We hope you enjoy reading with Dora. Adios! Adios! Today our book for story time is Dora's Farm Rescue. One sunny summer afternoon, Dora and Boots were exploring the farm when they heard a noise. Uh-oh, Dora said. I think I hear someone calling for help. Dora, Boots, help, help, ayúdenme, called Mommy Pig. Dora and Boots dashed over to Mommy Pig. What's wrong, Dora asked. My three little piggies are missing exclaimed Mommy Pig. I can't find them anywhere. Don't worry, Dora said. We can find those little piggies. Dora and Boots called for Map, and he popped out of Backpack's pop pocket. I know where you can find the three little piggies, said Map. In the big red barn. They're stuck. To get to the big red barn, we have to go over the duck pond and through the corn maze. That's how we'll find the little piggies. First, we need to find the duck pond, 
said Dora. I see a lot of ponds, but which one is the duck pond? asked Boots. Mira, there it is, said Dora. Come on, Vamanos! Dora, Boots, and Mommy Pig arrived at the duck pond. We need to cross the bridge to get over the duck pond, said Dora. But when Boots tried to open the gate, he found it was locked. I know, cried Mommy Pig. We've got to find a way to open this gate. It looks like the key to the gate was on this branch, said Dora. It must have fallen into one of these nests. I see it, squealed Mommy Pig. The key is in the nest with four eggs. I can get it, said Boots proudly. Then he whispered, Dora, which one is the nest with four eggs? We can figure it out, said Dora. Let's count the eggs in each nest. When they found the nest with four eggs, they counted to be sure. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Four eggs. Boots politely asked the mother duck for the key. Then he passed the key to Dora. Dora unlocked the gate and the three of them ran across the bridge. Vamanos, shouted Dora. Let's go rescue the three little piggies. Soon, Dora, Boots, and Mommy Pig got to a fork in the path. Uh-oh, said Mommy Pig. Which way leads to the corn maze? Let's think, said Dora. I can see footprints on each of the paths. We need to figure out which ones are piggy footprints. Well, said Mommy Pig, piggy footprints look like this. Over here, shouted Boots. These footprints look just like Mommy Pig's footprints. All right, cheered Dora. Let's follow them. They arrived at the corn maze. How do we get through, Dora? Asked Boots. A friendly scarecrow told them, <laughs> to get through my maze, you need to take the path that is Amarillo. The yellow path, Dora said. Thank you, Mr. Scarecrow. Gracias. Dora, Boots, and Mommy Pig looked at the paths. Here it is said Mommy Pig. This path is Amarillo. We need to follow that path to get through this maze, said Dora. Dora, Boots, and Mommy Pig followed the path out of the corn maze. We made it to the big red barn, cheered Dora. Together they pushed open the barn door. It was very dark inside. I can't see anything said Mommy Pig nervously. How will I find my piggies? Let's see if Backpack has something that can help us see in the dark, said Dora. Ooh, what does Backpack have? Backpack gave them a flashlight. But before Dora could turn it on, they heard a noise. That sounds like Swiper the Fox, said Dora. Oh no, said Boots. That sneaky fox will try to swipe our flashlight. Dora Boots and Mommy Pig shouted, Swiper, no swiping. Swiper snapped his fingers. Oh man, he groaned as he ran away. We stopped Swiper, hooray, everybody cheered. Now let's find those piggies, said Dora, as she shined the flashlight all around the barn. Wow, Dora, said Boots. Look at everything in here. I can see hay, a wagon, fruit, and vegetables. And I see the piggies, said Dora excitedly. We found all three piggies, said Dora. Uno, dos, tres. My piggies, cried Mommy Pig. She was so happy to see her babies. She hugged them and gave them lots of piggy kisses. 
Gracias, Dora. Thanks, Boots, said Mommy Pig. Then the three little piggies gave Dora and Boots juicy red apples to say thank you for helping them. What a farmtastic adventure, said Dora, giggling. <laughs> we did it! And that is the end of this book. It's a really fun one that has lots of other neat features like all of these stickers, and there are pages where you can make a matching game as well. And not only that, there's a poster that folds out in the back. So this is Dora's Farm Rescue. For our craft today, we are going to make some binoculars so that we can search too, just like Dora did in the story. Our binoculars are going to look like this, so you can wear them around your neck and search. I'll show you the pieces that you need for this craft. In your fun pack, you would have gotten a piece of string, some crayons, construction paper, and two little tubes. These are a lot like toilet paper rolls, so if you didn't get the fun pack, I bet you can find something very similar at home. You're also going to need a pair of scissors and some adhesive. It could be glue dots, or you can just use whatever kind of glue you need. And for those parts of the craft, you might need help from a grown-up. I'm gonna help Dora out with some of the parts of this craft. So the first thing you'll do, your construction paper will be a little bit too long. We cut ours down ahead of time, but you want it to be just the right size so that it overlaps your tube just a little bit so that you can glue it around and it's the perfect size. So you'll want to measure like this and then figure out where you want to cut and have that grown up help you to cut your, your construction paper down to size. Then you want to decorate the outside of your binoculars. So let's see, the colors that we have today, we have got red, blue, and yellow. And since we have Dora with us today, let's learn the Spanish words for those. We already learned amarillo for yellow, so that's amarillo. Then blue is azul. Oh, just like on your bracelet. That's right, Dora. Azul. And red is roja, so roja. Which color would you like to use today, Dora? The blue one? All right, we're gonna color in blue on our construction paper. And what do you think we should draw? Oh, a blue heart, how lovely. So, that's a great idea, Dora. Let me draw a blue heart on our construction paper. And you can color it in as much as you like. I'll leave just a little spot there so it's as if the light is shining off our little heart. There it is, a blue heart. So let's attach our construction paper onto our tube. We need one of our glue dots and we'll put it right onto the tube. And you gotta kinda use your fingernail to peel it off. Yeah, great job, Dora. We will line that paper up right over the top of it. Hey, can you help push it down? Good job. <laughs> then we'll bring the paper around and we wanna put our other glue dot right at the edge of that construction paper, kinda on top of the one from before. I'll peel it off onto there and we will press the other end of the construction paper down. Can you help me? Good job, thank you. And there is our heart. Excellent. I'm gonna do the same thing with my other tube. So right in the middle, we'll put one of our glue dots. There it is. And we'll put the construction paper on top and Dora's gonna help me push it down. Nice work. And we'll bring our paper around till it covers right over the top and we'll put our next glue dot right over the one below. Can you help push it down? Excellent. Just gonna peel that. Oop. And sometimes they get away from you and that's totally fine. You can just smooth that paper back over the tube 
and then push it into place over the top of that glue dot. Thank you, Dora. Now we want to attach our two binoculars to uh, tubes together to make the binocular shape. So we want these edges to be on the inside. So right on the top and bottom, we will put two glue dots. I'm gonna do them both on one of the binoculars. There we go. And right, I'm gonna put it right across the seam so that then I can line it up with the other seam and that will put those seams right in the middle. I'm gonna kinda use my fingers to squeeze on the inside. Can you pinch on the inside, Dora? There, there they are. And you can still see our heart on the outside then. Now we have to put our string on. And for our string to hang around our neck and hold the binoculars, it needs to be hooked just inside the outer edges of those two binoculars. So, we'll take one glue dot, put it just inside one outer edge. Thank you very much. And then here's our last one. We wanna make sure it's right opposite the one we put down on the outside there. Perfect. And we'll take our string and push it right inside on top of one glue dot. And get all the way to the other end and just take that very last inch and push it on top of the other glue dot. And all of this, you probably want a grown up to help you figure out exactly where to place the pieces so that it is the smoothest uh, binocular construction possible. And here it is, look at that. Dora and I each have a pair of binoculars. Ooh, I see you. Let's see if I can find Dora too. Wow, there she is. <laughs> looking good, Dora. Oh, and you guys are looking good too. Thank you so much for joining us for our binocular making craft. Thank you to our partners, TCF Bank, Barnes & Noble, and Penguin Random House for making this possible. You can join us every week in person here at Mall of America to see your favorite Nickelodeon episodes up on the big screen in the TCF Rotunda at 11 a.m. on Tuesday mornings. Thank you so much for joining us, Dora. If you would like to pick up what you'll need for next week's craft, you can get our Toddler Tuesdays Fun Pack at the Toy Store, which is on Level 1 South. That's available from Thursday through Monday for you to pick up so that you can join in on the fun. See you next week. Adios.